Welcome to the Freak Show Podcast. When betrayal and jealousy are mixed into the hot chocolate, things got bloody. So tell me, what happened? I wouldn't, I couldn't tell you, I, I wasn't there. But lucky for us, Ella was actually there at this party. Okay, so what happened? Well, I was one of the first people to show up at the party. It was fun, I mean, we had a blast, so I thought so. We brought these gifts for one another for like a secret Santa kind of thing. It was kind of fun, but of course I had to bring the gift for the host of the party. Like, of course me, but anyways. What'd you get him? I just got him some like lame junk thing that I found, but one man's trash is another man's treasure, you know? And um, then we had some punch and some snacks and dinner. Yeah, it was fun. That sounds like a fun party. Maybe you should invite me next time. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised. Shortly after dinner, I left because I didn't want to get home late. And after me, some other people left, but apparently there was like a psycho person who showed up and just attacked everyone else there. I'm just glad I wasn't there for any of this. Oh. Never mind then. Yeah, and apparently Gabe, the host of the party, was being stalked by someone for a week after he sent the invitation to the party. I just wish I would have known. I wish I could have helped him or something. So you knew he was being stalked and you just didn't do anything? Well, he reported it to the police the second time that it happened and the police said that all they could really do to help was patrol the areas. and So they did. It's just, this stalker, they found a way around it. They, they quickly learned the patrolling schedule and continued with their stalking. If I was a escape guy, I would have stayed up, checked for patterns, time of night. I would have, got, would have gotten ready to confront this guy. Sadly, a stalker wasn't all that grew out of this. Like Ella said, a random psycho ended up attacking the remaining party members in cold blood, too. What kind of a monster just attacks his own friends like that? A jealous one. Envy is a strong force. We have Gabriel Brindley waiting outside, ready for our interview. Let's go ahead and bring him in to talk about his perspective of what happened that night. Hey, Ella. Hey. Hey, guys. What's up, man? So we understand that you've been through a lot this past week, so if anything at all is too sensitive or too raw at the moment, we can always cut, take a break, and be right back. That's okay, but thank you. It really means a lot. So if you don't mind, what exactly happened that night? From where? From the beginning. Um, so it all started when my mom and my dad, and, and they- No, no, no. The beginning of the night, not, not mm, your whole life story. Mm, okay. What, you don't think people would want to hear my life story? I'm sure people would want to hear your life story. It's just, it's, that's not why we're here today. I know, I'm just messing around, finding different ways to cope with the situation. Oh. Sorry. No, it's all good. Don't worry about it. So, what really happened that night, then? Way to ruin the tender moment. What? I want to know. <clears throat> well, to help you guys understand, I would probably have to show you th the invitations, and I brought one with me today. Oh yeah, this is, this is one of the ones I got. When I sent these out, I made sure to send these out to the right addresses. It's like one of my worst fears to have my personal info just out in the world. Literally a couple days after I sent them out, someone started snooping around my house and in my yard. My security camera showed a person dressed in all black with a black hoodie over their head and one of these terrible white Halloween masks. 
You know one of those ones you buy at the dollar store for literally two bucks during Halloween sales? And for the next week until my party, they continued and appeared once a night, except for this one time. Once I reported it to the police. The police began to patrol the neighborhood, and I guess the red and blue scared them off for the night. It was scary. They were repetitive. They never hurt anything either. Just looking through windows, scoping out my entrances, and one time tried jumping over my fence. So, what about after that? Well, after that, it was Christmas Eve. It was my party. <laughs> so, uh, we ain't gonna drop me them digits. Ew, no. <laughs> it's okay, I'm on I'm on wolf anyways. Oh, you've never had girl scouts you see, bro? I have, but it's been on the train. Literally, lunch. It'll be alright, man. I literally have no idea. He asked me for my number, flexed, and then walked away. That's embarrassing. I don't even know whether to feel bad or if the whole thing was just awkward. Anyway, you did a good job hosting this party, man. Low key, best Christmas party I've ever been to. You don't have to lie, man, but I'm just glad it's a good party for everyone. I'm sorry, man. For what? For lying. Oh. I'm just joking with you, dude. This is really one of the best parties I've ever been to. Like, we haven't even gotten to the good part yet, and we've already having fun. The competition arrived. Man, shut your big head up. We thought because no one was at our place, we were going to come around and see what's up. That's white. Is it actually? No, it's just normal fruit punch. Bro, I'm, I'm going to spite you, bro. No, you're not. She's not serious, of course. But I'm going to go get a drink. All right, everyone, it's time for Secret Santa. Let's go. <laughs> All right, everybody. Should I let the host be the one to introduce this? All right, guys, I guess I'll choose someone, and then from there, you guys could just choose who goes next. So uh, we'll just go with Jamil. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks <laughs> to whoever gave me this. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you could go next. <laughs> Take your time. Soap. Uh, <laughs> <my> bad. <laughs> Stay humble. <laughs> Alright, Trenton, it's your turn. Dot. <laughs> Man, who made these? Is it, oh, it's is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can take your time too. Yo, what do you have these in here, bro? I bet it's like a PS5, bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Who is playing jokes? Ah, ah. Give me socks, bro. Right? Oh, your turn. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, but I heard you like magic stuff, so I just I just got you that. I guess. Thanks. Be grateful. <laughs> 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 
Or do you at least got a present? At least you got something. It was a fun party, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I wish I could have done something like that for Christmas Eve, but I went to bed, woke up, and I got socks. I mean, they were cool socks, but, you know. Yeah, I just wish I didn't start my Christmas in an interrogation room, really. Oh, yeah, sorry. I wasn't really one of the only people to get hurt that night. In fact, I probably got it the best. Other people were wounded much worse than me. So we've heard. They were horrible and they, they honestly had a twisted mind. I really couldn't believe my own friends would do this to me. All over ego too. I know that we're supposed to forgive and forget, but I really just don't know how to forgive someone who could do something like that. Do you know who did it yet? Yes, actually I do, but I'll, I'll get there in a second. Uh, eventually, people started trickling out, I'm pretty sure. Trenton was the first one to leave, actually. Um, you left early, right? Because you live close. Yeah, I did. Then after that, some of the rest left too. I'm pretty sure it just ended up being me, Jamil, and Marie. Hey, we're heading out. Toodles. And I'm taking this too. All right, I'm gonna go get some more like pizza rolls because we're out. Can you try not eating for five seconds? Would you shut up? I, you're lucky I'm still your friend. Am I? You know what? I'll be back. I'm gonna go get some pizza roll. Yeah, that's right. Go make yourself useful, bud. Fine. He knows I'm joking, right? I mean, it's not weird for him to be mean to you like that. I'm gonna go get some more sodas. I'll just start cleaning up then. Oh man, I gotta clean up a whole lot. Is Jamil back already, man? <laughs> I thought I was about self. How could you be so ignorant? What? What do you mean, what? You know what I'm talking about. Who are you? You ruined every single opportunity for me in my life. My what? Christmas party, every single thing. What opportunities? What do you, I know you know. What do am you I not know who I am? No! I'm sure we can figure this out, man. Like, seriously. There's no figuring this out. What's done is done. I'm sorry. I thought you were gone. Uh, I forgot my hat. Uh, you know what's funny? I just saw it in your car. Also, y'all left the like garage door open. I just saw my friend like dead. Mother. Cole, are you slow? Cole, what are you doing? Oh, I didn't mean to. I, I, and that's really how it all went down. I guess Brennan just hated me this whole time for taking away his so-called fame. That's horrible. So, what about that Cole guy? He was just crazy and I'm pretty sure he just wanted to help his brother out. You know, usually I'm the one all over the place debunking this and trying to unprove that, but this time I've heard such a clear set in stone story where everything genuinely lines up and from your account it sounds true. I mean, our last guy, I think his name was Matthew, he was just all over the place. I mean, you could tell there was just something up with him, but I don't see that here. I mean, hearing all this, I, I genuinely feel sorry for you. It's all fine, really. Uh, I think that the people that we lost are in a better place and some people that were lost are in the place that they deserve to be. 
Thank you for joining us today, Gabriel. We really do apologize for what happened to you. It means a lot to me that you guys were willing to listen to me and help and bring really all of this to light. I really hope that this may teach some people that there's a lesson to never let their guard down and not everyone you meet is a friend. Thank you guys. Well, thank you really for joining us. Oh, uh, I don't mean to be ungrateful, but this gift you gave me, uh, I'm really just not feeling it. I'm getting a real bad vibe from it personally. Oh, that's okay. I just found it in the junk pile because I need like magic stuff. Wait, uh, Ella, is, it, is this my crystal ball? Um, I guess so. Sorry, it was just in the back of the storage closet covered in dust. I didn't think you cared about it that long. It hasn't been used in so long. No, I, I, of course I care about it. I don't care if my stuff is in a box with the word junk written on it in bold sharpie. Do not touch my stuff. Dude, chill out. I'm sorry. All right, everyone. Sorry, but... We're, we're going to have to see you next time, next month, for a, another story to tell. I can't believe you guys have touched my stuff like that. I'm so tired of this. Mm. Wait, am I live? Hey boss, what do I do when Bradley cuts the feed? What if I don't have an extra video? Well, he cut, he cut the tape. Uh, well, okay, so, um, to everyone watching the video, I greatly apologize. Our host Bradley has randomly turned off the feed. I wasn't necessarily watching the video, so I don't have any idea as to why he did this. But um, I know it's my job to watch the videos. Would Would you just let me do my job? Thank you. The point is, Bradley cut the feed early, and I have to put something on because we have literally just about 12 minutes left video. And I'm sure nobody watching this wants to listen to 12 minutes of Mr. Editor Guy. Anyway, um, let me, let's just check what we have. Okay, there's nothing in horror stories. There's nothing in found footage. There is one two minute video. Can't play that. It's too short. I mean, if I found four other two minute videos, maybe. Oh, one minute video. Okay, well, it says do not post air. I mean, at this point, I don't care. Bradley cut the video early. He can deal with his little videos going online. I mean, if he wants to cut my...
because I don't even know why he did that. I'm not lie. But he, he can just deal with it, man. All right. Switching over to live broadcast. No, 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 no. No output. Switching over to screen share. There we go. All right, Bradley. Confession. M O B. Oh, wait, okay. All right, play. I have a secret. I think I see ghosts like a um, sixth sense. I've seen strange things. There was this one time I thought I saw this man in my closet. And he opened the closet doors and he stuck his head out. And he had no lips. It was just it was just gums here. And he didn't say a word. He stepped out of the closet and I closed my eyes as tight as I could. And I, I think I fell asleep because I woke up the next day. And I hope I fell asleep. When I woke up the next morning, there, there was the closet was just wide open. <laughs> and I always close my closet before I go to bed because when I I I used to be afraid of those um dumb ghost stories of there being like a ghost in your closet. So I, I always make sure that my closet was shut. Sorry. It's a little early in the morning. I just woke up. Anyways, another time I I was out on a walk. This is last year, um, December of 2022, for reference. Um, and I I thought I heard this little girl. I turned around and there was a little girl riding on a tricycle and the tricycle was pink with little party streamers on it. They were like gold and silver and pink and all those all those things. You know like a little girl's a little girl's bike but a trike. And she was singing and humming. And I... I thought it was weird how she followed me for so long. That's why I turned around. There was no one there anymore. But the little humming and singing of those little kids' nursery rhymes, man.
I've never seen anything like that since. It was just really weird and scary, man. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> Most recently. I got a bunch of these props for one of my films. And it ended up being cursed, I guess. Because one time when I was alone, I saw a face in it. And it got closer. And then it just disappeared. Um, it's all my reflection at that point. I was just like, oh, okay, I'm just seeing my reflection, I guess. I guess the shape of it is throwing me off. It's a crystal ball, by the way. I don't know if I ever mentioned that. I'm sorry, I get caught up. It's a crystal ball. I also had a set of tarot cards and a bunch of other things. It was a bunch of stuff that I found at a uh, yard sale. One time. Label discount. Literally had like a 75% discount. And when I took it, I didn't expect anything weird. You know, no no one no one no one would buy anything in anticipation for that. But when I when I got it when I got it. I just put it in a closet for some time, and then I came back there to film. And we were going to film, like, this weird story about, like, this traveling fortune teller character. I didn't know the crystal ball already came with one. The next day, after I saw that face, I went in there, and there was a whole man standing. Dressed and everything that I got. And that 75% off deal, and... He, he told me, I need your help. And I tried asking who they were, and they go, I need your help, Bradley Becker. I need you. And I, I looked at them, and I was confused. I was like, who are you? They told me that I will get to know them very well. And I just left the room and closed the door. When I got to the outside of the prop store, there he was again, standing in the next hallway. And he told me to come back. And I told him no. I left. And the next day I returned, obviously, thinking that it was just something. Maybe I hadn't gotten enough sleep. <laughs> He was real. That whole room was put in a mess. All the other props were broken. And that crystal ball was glowing. Lit, lit up the whole room, in fact. Me and a few friends went in there, and there it was, just sitting there, glowing. And he was standing there, too, but only I could see him, apparently. So I decided to help him. So, <clears throat> he told me to start using my ability to find ghosts. To see ghosts is, I don't know why he said find, I just see them. And I run away from them. <laughs> I'm going to create a podcast where I will invite people to come tell me about the bizarre things that are happening to them. But I didn't say that right. Where I will invite people to tell me about the bizarre things that are happening to them. And 
when they get there, they will be able to tell me whatever happened and and I I will try to figure out how I can help. I'll start researching it my own and go take care of it. I think I will. It's currently um it's currently August. This guy's been bothering me nonstop. <laughs> stop. I just maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. Maybe I was meant to do this, maybe I was meant to help people. And help ghosts. <laughs> it's crazy that sounds. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. And I see I, I see ghosts. I'm going to do it. I'm going to start a show. We're going to call it The Freak Show Podcast. And we're going to invite people to come on there and tell me their stories. And then I'm going to go search it myself later. Anyway, I'm going to hop back in bed. I'm tired. It's literally four in the morning. So, Bradley Becker, out. Yeah, maybe you should have watched that. I'm most definitely getting fired. All right, well. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Be back next month. Well, I don't know if I will be, but <laughs> hopefully all of you will come back next month to watch another Freak Show podcast with Bradley Becker. <laughs> I hit my job. There's no help beyond this point. I'm I'm so far gone. There's nothing I can come up with. I have a job for you.